So, okay, so this year you won three and you got uh, Kendrick Lamar, Rosalia, and Lizzo. Three of my favorite albums. I mean, I've been <sighs> love know, all three so of those albums. lucky to be, you know, in the room with those yeah. amazing artists, you know. And, uh, yeah, they're all three very different and unique albums. Rosalie is pushing the edge. I mean, she's, in Latin, in Latin music, she's kind of like the Kanye, right? She's really, really pushing it. Kendrick is Kendrick, 100%. I mean, <laughs> you know. And Lizzo is an amazing pop R&B album, right? So three sort of different genres. So how do you approach, with artists that sound so different, executing their vision? You know, I always say now it's it's like cheating now because we have these amazing roughs, right? Yeah. I feel like our job now is to, A, I always say, don't fuck it up, man. <laughs> don't screw it up. <laughs> uh, but really it's just, man, with Kendrick, for example, we met and we sat there for three hours just talking about, you know, where you know, our beginnings are, you know, just n no music at all. No, we talked about each other. To each other, you know, we had a, an amazing conversation because you know he was coming off of he went some something different, not better or worse or not worse, but not better, but just different. Different. So he uh, wanted to meet me. We sat there, and he, I got to tell you, he's a he studies every nuance, every movement, every word, and uh, by the end of it, he's like, "Let's give a song. Let's do one song and see what happens." So we did. You know, we worked on one song, and for me, you could tell an artist was wanting something slightly different right yeah. so that's the psychology so what we do is half of it is mind games the other half is hopefully some talent here and there and some luck a lot of luck yeah but with him it was about <clears throat> it's such a deep album if you yeah. it's a concept album i mean if you guys 10 years from now pe some people are going to get it they're like oh this is what's happening there's a lot of easter eggs along the way that when people start discovering um, it's gonna it's gonna have new life to new listeners and for sure. Just, but he won't talk about them, you know, which is a shame. I wish he could just go on and I wish people would hear what he would what he's told me about the album and how this song connects to this song and this lyric connects to it's an answer, it's a question answer. To, it's like, I mean, can people please find out? Because yeah, it would blow your mind. So for me, I'm already mixing. Every conversation, I'm already, I'm already like, okay, this needs d depth, needs ups and downs. We need to really move. And sometimes the, the vocal's really dark, really moody. Other times it's really bright, really punchy. And it's just capturing that emotion of each song. So for me, this album is a book and each song is a chapter. Yeah. And each, you know, some chapters are fun and others are deep and heavy and, and others are anything in between. So... It's really like psychologically you're thinking about the emotions and the mm. different colors and feel and but you got to do it without ev anyone noticing which is so crazy right that's the For beauty sure. of what we do it's just like let's just make it when I listen from the beginning to end I'm engaged with the songs not the sound so I always say I try to do sound uh emotion and not necessarily a sound yeah because you know, nobody wants to hear a sound. I mean, some of our favorite records, some of them don't even sound that good. They just feel amazing. Mm -hmm. And then they capture that emotion, right? So for me, with Kendra was really capturing that emotion. What is one of the Easter eggs? Do you remember any? Well, you know, it's it's in there. It's, it, they're all there. You know, it's basically, it's, you know, talking about culture in the beginning. And then you realize you're going through sort of a depression that what brought you to this point in life the pandemic hits you start questioning just like we all did and how now you're you know you're expecting your first baby that's changes people's lives obviously and how do you navigate as being this kendrick lamar how do you navigate life through the ups and downs may, maybe him parting ways with some of his team uh having a family being in the lowest you know in in our history and world history I don't know if we're ever going to go through a global pandemic again the way we did and questioning your as a man your your you know your mental health like yeah. you know as minority men we we you know we don't we can't show emotion you know and 
uh, and how do you show emotion, right? So he just put it all in there, and him seeing a you know psychiatrist, and which is not again, it's not normal, uh, and him getting help, the right help, and him just saying this is why I think I'm the way I am today as a man, and this is how I can heal and not repeat the cycle. I mean, there's so many of them, and if you listen get a glass of wine, whatever, listen to it with headphones. And if you look at it that way, you'll, you'll hear them. They're there. Yeah, They're not, yeah. you know, uh, you just got to look for them. You yeah. know? And so it's that process of him going through a metamorphosis and hopefully becoming a man that a family man with a career, you know, and, and having had all these issues, hopefully behind so that alone is a freaking, I told him that, We'll see the the Broadway play in ten years. For you know? sure, I mean, you definitely successfully accomplished that because you feel it immediately when you put that album mm. on. Like, it's a heavy album, right? It's a heavy album, and yeah, United yeah. in Grief, yeah. right? Like you start with United in wow. Grief, and you're just like, yeah, oh, I'll never forget hearing it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. being a huge Kendrick fan, anticipating mm -hmm. a new album, mm -hmm. wa wa waiting for it, knowing it's going to come, hearing for a few years it's coming, you know, like everything, mm -hmm. and be like, okay, cool. And then like you put on track one, and United in Grief hits you, and you're just like. Oh, even the lyric, like I grieve different and, and just the, the beat. Yeah, yeah. It's the good and what evil. What you did right? to the beat, <laughs> the sound of that beat, like Shout everything. out to Soundwave because oh. he's, he's amazing. And Soundwave it, killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and we it. kept pushing it, pushing it. And then we, is this too much? Let's back it down. No, let's yeah. push it more. Let's, so again, that good and evil in every record. Right? Yeah. Every record I mix, I always look for a good and evil, mm. you know, and within each section too, right? Because it's all about emotion, like subtle emotion. Like when you listen to some, your body language should constantly be changing, whether you are conscious or, or not. That's what kind of we're playing, you know, we're mind-fucking people and the thinking there with obviously lyrics and harmony and frequencies and all this stuff, rhythm. and But we're really just trying to get you to kind of feel somewhat of an emotion that's there, but just emphasizing it. I say this really silly, silly uh, comparison to you're in space and you have a toddler and you're holding their hand and they you let go of their hand and they're floating away. And then you grab the hand and you yank it towards you, right? And then you let it go again. And you keep doing that over and over again. Because this toddler or kid, wow. it's kind of going floating away and then boom, I want your attention again and you yank it, right? And that's what we do maybe with hooks or bridges or sounds like, Sometimes there's sounds that don't necessarily, don't necessarily sound good. Right. They could be a snare that's super, super bright, but that's kind of to get your attention away from maybe this section or maybe this lyric or maybe the production needs help. So we alter your, oh, now I'm listening, paying attention to this. That's because I'm masking something else and the complete opposite too. So you got to be able to keep yanking your listener so that, and then you got to be able to let them go and trust that mm -hmm. they're going to be there when you pull them up towards you again, you know? 